It is the 18th of October, and it's like nine days post um, histo. I had it done laparoscopically, and everything was removed. So I, um, it's like nine days post op. I think I just said that. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video to show my scars and just briefly talk about recovery. So I have four incisions. Um, I have one in my belly button, one, one right there. Um, I believe this is where the bone is. has been pretty pretty good and easy um, like for the last two nights I've woken up on my stomach um, I'm still taking it really easy because I was told that I have to um, you know take it easy for like four weeks so um, I guess after four weeks I can go back to working out which I am really 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 hanging out for um, I think I have a an appointment with the surgeon at a, the six weeks post op mark to um, have a look and see how it all went. Um, uh, bleeding wise, I bled um, a little bit in the hospital. Uh, I had the drain in, which is supposed to help with um, you know the kind of like period bleeding uh, or what appears to be like that. Um, so I did still bleed for the like while I had the drain in like one or two days post op, and um, then randomly like how many days was it? Uh, I had it on a Tuesday and then it was on a Saturday, right basically after I did my tea shot. Um, randomly started bleeding heaps like I just got my period or something. Um, so my mum had to rush to the store and get me some pads, um, which I then wore kind of as a safety net for a couple of days, and it seems to have stopped. Um, I don't know, today I'm getting a tattoo, um, kind of to mark all the things I've done in my transition so far, um, and I think I will be probably wearing one of those just in case, because I feel like it's... If it's almost like when there's something big that happens to your body, like a tea shop, for example, that it, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Um, uh, I also have to do my tea shot like again on Saturday, so I'll, I'll if it happens again, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, what else? Um, I feel like there's something else. The important thing is uh, to stay on top of your painkillers. I uh, had the bright idea of weaning myself off my painkillers as I do with my chest um, every time because of the constipation and ugh, bad idea. It, w it was so hard to get on top of the pain again. Um, so stay on top of the painkillers even though um, you might think you might not need it because it's still quite sore. Like. It feels like really bad period pain still, so uh, it's important to stay on top of that. And then um, I stayed in hospital two nights, which I was extremely happy about because I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. But to be honest, um, while I still had my drain in, it was incredibly painful, uncomfortable, couldn't move around. Um, had a catheter in for the first um, for the first night, and that was really good. It really helped. It's not as com as uncomfortable as you might think. And it does really help. Um, also, just to make sure that the, you know, the catheter pipe isn't kinked or anything, because well, as soon as you feel like you need to start peeing, that means the pee isn't going through to the bag, so it's blocked somewhere or the bag is full. So that's important to um, to keep note of. And then, um, yeah, I think I mentioned this in my previous video that. Like the most important part, uh, the most uncomfortable part of um, surgery and staying in hospital was the drain because it was just like you know in your stomach and you can feel it and it's really painful and uncomfortable. And as soon as that's out, it's all good. Um, I think.
think I think I've covered everything. I want to keep this really short, so I'm talking really fast. Uh, yeah, so that's about it, and I will definitely make a video if I come up with any other things that might be important to uh, to remember when you guys go for this. Cool.